here for a long time, and I think I've found a way out. Here, this might help you. He indeed is under some sort of spell, dear old dad. And that's what kind of made the captain get locked up in the brig in the first place. It's the siren spell. Shh, spoiler alert. You need to hurry. Find a way to get us out of this cursed place. Restart your engines. Wow, look at those eyes. Don't look at the eyes. It's hard not to. Yes, father, I will obey father. That'd be cool if that was like an Easter egg, that if you stayed here for like, I don't know, a minute or two, <laughs> and you started to talk like you were under his spell. Yes, father, I will obey father. Okay, maybe that sounds more like a robot, but you know what I mean. So we now have the navigation chart. I just don't know where I'm supposed to go with it, to be honest with you. Yeah, it does sound a little bit like a robot. I gotta work on my hypnotized voice for sure. Can I go to the deck now? Now I can go to the deck! I love that this is here when we actually had keys to get into the door. Please insert three coins. Oh, are we going to play some Mortal Kombat? With a fatality and a bivality and a... Yeah, we're going to do a little MK right now. <laughs> Let's see, what's this? It's a stick. Oh, you see, see the Madhead logo? Cool. There should be a shell on this scene. There it is, right there. Oh, there is one here. Let me have a closer look. Is it here? Or... Huh. Interesting. Oh, there's that bugle. Remember that? We saw that before. Ooh, another axe! No crowbar, but two axes. Seriously, game. <laughs> we could have had two crowbars by now. Crowbar, axe, they kind of do the same sort of thing. Lower deck, crew only. Let's see, we have to know the code, but we don't know the code. Oh, wait a minute, I don't know the combination. I think I saw that somewhere. That was on the siren statue, I believe. No, no, but I want my crowbar to act like an axe. That's what I want. And I want there to be two axes. No, I mean, I want there to be two crowbars. So what do we got here? Green, red, blue. Uh, let's see here. This looks like the gems on the statue. It should be mirrored if it's going to fit. Oh. There we go, we did it! So we now have a... Where does this go though? Do we just give it to her? No? Ah, there we are. Ooh, a crowbar plushie sounds like a great idea. Oh, that's... A little clicky clicky, a little searchy searchy. Time for the fun to begin. Oh, morphing object. Hello! How rotten would this fish be? Ooh, speaking of cup of tea. Mmm. Somebody should make a crowbar plushie. I think that's a <laughs> an opportunity. A new business strategy. Uh, so we have a, a conch, a knife, and a broom. The objects are so big in this game, it's awesome. Dual wielding crowbars? <laughs> uh, yeah, I like the idea of that too. Hey, we're rich. We now have three coins. 
let's go and put this here. One. Two. Time for Mortal Kombat. I have a Keurig coffee maker. Oh, I'm not even paying attention. It's an arcade. Move. But I have that K-cup uh, coffee maker thing. Oh, boy. Look at the... <laughs> We're winning! Oh, that was only round one. Oh my gosh, it got real fast here, real quick. This is uh, a lot faster than the first round. Of course a ship game and a ship game. It's ship game inception. Oh, look at this! Oh my gosh, this is nearly impossible. <laughs> nah, this isn't Mortal Kombat, sadly. It's like ship rock combat. Oh, wow. Okay, this is much tougher than the first two. I don't think I can fit through there. Woo! I totally did it. Thanks for it. Oh, what the heck is that? What the heck is that? <laughs> I was totally thinking I was done. Oh my goodness, what the heck? Get away from me! Oh, get away! <laughs> that caught me off guard big time. And I'm a winner. You got it. I'm a winner. Ooh, look at this. Speaking of plushies, a little pirate plushie. That's totally worth it. Hi there, mister. Sorry about your hook hand. I need that. Put this on here. Maybe. Yeah, there we go. So I have to figure out how I'm going to tie that on. We'll get some yarn. <laughs> now I've got a hook. So we have to figure out what we're going to hook. Oh, we've got the music just uh, giving us some background noise. I don't remember where I had to hook things. Oh, look, there's dear old dad. It's almost like I took the pirate plushie's hook hand and just threw him away. I think we should definitely have kept him. Oh, it looks like we're supposed to be here in the brig. I think. Oh, he has to get the bugle thing. Yes, that's right, Artemis. Thank you. It's a horn. Okay, so we need to go back to here and put that horn into it. Uh, put that horn there. Nexus, I don't actually know the command for doing that off the top of the, off the top of my head. So. I'll have to, I'll look into it for next time, okay? I promise. At least I can temporarily do it. I just don't know the command for it. Hey, what's this all about? Dear kids, you'll probably never see this, but I have to write it down. The Everlast has emerged from the strange portal that it went through. We're headed toward an island in the distance. I know I will never return from this place. The thought of never seeing you two again breaks my heart. But wherever we are, we will love you as long as we live. Well, I guess the, the idea is that she never expected us to find the boat here. And then we've got something for the captain. Captain, the lock code for the lower deck trap door was changed as requested. Three, seven, one, five, nine. Three, seven, one, five, nine.
Yeah, it's right there, right next to it. That's perfect. So, the lower deck is just like I remember. And look, there's a shell there too! Yay! Actually, I like it when the games from time to time have a little conveniency to them. No sense traipsing back five or six pages or script scenes to find that. So there's something going on in here, but we need a handle. The handle of this paddle could be useful. I just need to cut it off with my handy axe. <laughs> Why? Why am I doing that to the poor ore? Improvised handle. Hmm. There we go. And we're free. Alright folks, let me know in the chat. Should we go into the control room or should we go into the engine room? Left or right? Let me know. Hit that in the chat there. Just do left or you can do L. L or R. And there's no up. <laughs> engine room. Alright, definitely feels like there's a lot more engine room. So we'll go down this way. Ooh, what's this all about? Oh, it looks like we can put that there, but that's not related at all to what we have here. Uh, hmm. <laughs> we need a pull. I <laughs> can't have pulls for everything. Oh, I guess I could. That was the fun part about Life is Strange. I can't wait to play the next episode of Life is Strange. I had a lot of fun with that. You guys were very helpful with all the decision making there. And even like rewinding and going back, that's cool. I'll definitely be playing that when the next episode is released. I'll live stream it for sure on the Wednesday of that week. I had a lot of fun doing that. Yeah, I live stream both episode one and episode two, uh, Mermelon. And I'll do the third one when it comes out as well. Yeah, that train part was insane where she's, uh, well, she had her foot stuck or something like that. Nothing like I'll... Oh, nothing. Looks like I'll need to restart the engine another way. There we go. Thank you, Yellow Tiger. Looks like we have to do this here. And we've got something going on. We are on. alone in this forgotten place. Okay, let's get this all right side up here, first of all. He's got pants! That's a big pair of pants there. Oh wow, check out the eyes. They've all got crazy eyes. There Let's are see. others here, but they seem lost. We couldn't reach any of them. Yes, Life is Strange is on YouTube. Uh, I've, I've uh, uploaded both of the uh, first two episodes. Things got even more desperate today, when we woke up to find that Helen was gone. <gasps> oh no, Helen, why are you gone? Let's see, oh that actually does go there. Oh no, maybe not, maybe there. No, this doesn't look right at all. Trevor wanted to go find her, but I stopped him. I know that she's lost now, too. Oh, you think that it's the next episode is going to come around the first week of May? Wow, that's like next week, Annabelle. Wasn't Helen the wife of the captain? Oh, she's the mother of the main character. Oh, okay, thanks. That actually clears it up, too. So we now have a navigation chart and a restart sequence. Which I have a feeling we're going to have to go back to the engine to do that. Engine room, go! Yeah, time for the engine room. Set pressure to 100, oh, 1750. Uh, okay. 
I think we got this. That's good. Now we want to deactivate power blocks three and four. So that means I want to activate one and two. Uh, there we go, so that's that done. And then, uh, let's see here. I want to, next I have to go here. Set the RPM of the engine to 412. 412. So how does this work? Four. Oh wow. Uh oh. Oh, is this gonna work? I don't even think this is gonna work. Let's see. Oh, there we go. Got it. Hit the switch. We did it. A little mini uh, super puzzle there for sure. Now we're it's time. Oh look, when we're operational. Let's go. We have completed the goal. Restart the engine. So let's hit the. We ought to have our navigational chart. I hope the captain's directions are accurate. Skull. Skull first. Oh, mermaid. It's like a ghost or whatever these things. Maybe clouds? Skull first. How do I. Oh, here we go. Now we need the boat anchor. And hit the throttle. And the next one is... Looks like a raft of sorts. I am totally driving the boat. The big ghost ship. I have it in my hands. And then the last thing is a craven. Oh, good. Let's go hang. Oh, it's back this way. I know it's probably a seagull, but I'm gonna say craven. Oh yeah, that's definitely a seagull. Oops. Hey, I know how to drive. Maybe. Maybe not. <gasps> uh oh. The ship is out of control, and it's heading back! That was close! Oh no, another rock! I won't make it! The ship is heading straight for that island! I'll crash! Rocks. You've ruined everything. Now you'll rot forever in the realm of the forgotten. But Dad, Dad, no. Why, Dad? Why? <laughs> Dad headed toward the, that beacon. Captain, he's still inside the ship. Do we save the captain or do we follow our father? Oh, no. What shall we do? We should find a shell is what we should do. Yeah. <laughs> Don't go to the light. That's definitely uh, something to consider for sure. Save the captain? Okay, we'll see if we can. Let's go inside the shipwreck. Captain! Captain! The beams are packed tight. Maybe I could cut through somehow. Ooh, chainsaw? No, glass shard. No, chainsaw! Where are you? Captain! A shovel. I don't think the shovel's gonna help either. 
These knots are too tight to undo by a hand. <laughs> of course, dads just dads. Dads are dads. That's what they do. It's just embarrassing. Honestly, dad, why? So we have some skizzers. We gotta figure out what we're gonna do with the skizzers. I need ores. More ores, of course. Ooh, hello, morphing. Where is the cravens when we need them? There's something under the sail. Cut, cut, cut. Alright, hurry back! <laughs> <laughs> the seagull's cosplaying a craven. That is excellent. Yeah. A boot. It's all a boot. What are we going to do? 